Yeah, so symbol, ride symbol technique. So a couple keys that are important. That. And the hardest the hardest time to produce the rebound is when you're playing at a quieter dynamic. A lot of times students are frustrated that they can't get the same rebound at this tempo or at this dynamic as they can here. And the reason is because they're not using their fingers. No fingers makes for a very stiff and unresponsive ride cymbal beat. So at, you have to make sure that when you get to the top, first of all, you're lifting the stick. You're not using your arms. You're using your wrist and your fingers. You get to the top, and you are in this position where the first three fingers are really holding the stick up right and it's this middle finger that prevents the stick from falling over it's the first two fingers that allow the stick to give it the foundation and the stabilization that it needs in order to come back as far as you want it to come using the middle finger to keep it from tipping over it makes sense right Okay, so then the velocity to come back down is created from the middle finger. Bam. And that's the snap. The, the super vital and important snapping technique that allows you to, after here, come down. And the way it's applied with the cymbal beat is one, two, all three. When you hear me go uh, that's that's my middle finger kicking in and saying and giving it a lot of juice to create the velocity it needs to play that skip beat in time. Right? So all one, two, all three, all one. Something that would be really useful to practice is just all one, all three, all one. And every time you come up, you just pause. Uh. And when you come up, you should be in this kind of somewhat similar position where the stick is really out on the tip of your middle finger and it's still being held by your fulcrum created by your first finger and your, and your thumb. Right? You come down, your hand should be closed. You shouldn't end up like this because you're going to lose a lot of control. Your hand is closed. You come up. Come up. You see, you hear how much power you can get without using the arm. It's a completely different sound. And it's not loud, it's just full. Okay? So if you can practice that, Brendan. Just out of time. Boom, 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 boom. I think that will really help you understand better how to produce and continually produce that feeling of rebound and lift and power and, and fullness in your sound, right? And it's the same thing on the on the on the quieter scale. It's the same thing. You're just not going to come out all the way on the tip of your finger. It's just on a much smaller scale. And the other thing that's very important in, in this quieter dynamic is this technique. It's kind of like a pulling. You're pulling the stick up and down, back and forth, is rather. It's like a back and forth type of tug between the thumb and your pointer finger. And you need that at this dynamic to manufacture the rebound that you're not get, naturally getting from the cymbal because you're not playing as hard. Therefore, the stick's not going to jump up at you. So because of that, the lift comes from this, not your wrist. This is too quiet a dynamic to play. Well, you can use your wrist a little bit. 
but a lot of it is just your fingers this type of thing and so if you can practice doing this and even practice going like this with the stick coming straight back just using your middle finger I mean your pointer finger and your your first finger because of the camera angle it doesn't look like the sticks coming straight back there you go straight back to you and you're using your first finger and your your thumb and if you can get establish that feeling and then you maybe even do it a little quicker like that you're going you're not going to have optimum control because you don't have the rest of your hand to support the stick but the point is that you want to try to um produce that tugging that back and forth feeling that will force the stick to come up and down straight back to you again the ang the camera angle makes it seem like the sticks not coming completely straight back to me but I swear it is yeah, it really it really is okay and with I think with the combination of all those different you know the techniques will allow you to play the cymbal in a fluid, consistent, full, weighted. You don't want your quarter note to feel not weighted. You want you want to feel the weight of the quarter note in your hand. In a right swinging manner that you can establish over a long period of time at quiet dynamics. That's where I'm doing. That's where my hand is. Bam. Okay? Good luck.